May the force be with us. So I'm guessing by now you've probably seen some gameplay of the heroes from Star Wars Battlefront. If you haven't already, there'll be a link in the description. And let's talk about them. Tips on how to use them, how to find them, how to activate them will be all in this video. Let's start the video. So in the beta build, you have two heroes. One is obviously Darth Vader, one is Luke Skywalker. So throughout the whole map, you see different tokens. This can range from being uh, a smart rocket to an ATT, uh, ATST, X wings, A wings, that sort of thing. But a one in 40 chance, you may see a hero token. And here it is. So you're looking out for this little H icon, pick it up very quickly and activate it. Believe me, you won't regret it. So once you click the token, you have 12 seconds to activate it. If you die during that period, the token has disappeared. You cannot become a hero. Cry out a little bit if you want to, it's up to you. Also, only one hero per team. You probably can't have two Luke Skywalkers. That would make no sense. Also, the health of the heroes does drop gradually over time. Roughly around one to two seconds, it drops like a HP, roughly, roughly speaking. Uh, also, you can get your health back gradually by just killing enemies. So you get like two or three seconds back onto your health. And that's very good. I mean, it just frankly just emphasizes action. You can't just stand in the corner deflecting bullets. You have to go into the action and just kill people, which is definitely a thumbs up from me. I like that. So let's talk about the basic controls for both. So you have a, a general attack. You can just attack away using the right trigger or the left on the mouse, I believe. Or you can deflect bullets. I mean, yes, you can deflect bullets. How cool does that sound? You can stand there, the lasers come towards you. You just hear the sounds, the, the Star Wars sounds, and it's literally you deflecting bullets and it's a very very cool feeling almost forgot the general attack does do like an instant kill also does a lot of damage to vehicles but the vehicles can explode and cause the hero to take a whole lot of damage so let's talk about Darth Vader for a little bit his abilities and what he can do in comparison to Luke uh, Darth Vader is a little bit slower than Luke Luke is a lot quicker he can do a like massive jump he can run a lot quicker I generally found him a lot easier to use, but Darth Vader also is very cool. Let's talk about the, the heavy attack. This is actually on both. Heavy attack does like a sort of large sweep. Uh, it does just a lot more damage. It's just like a heavy attack. I mean, it pretty much says it on the tin. So yes, a heavy attack is just like a long swipe and it does a lot of damage. So the next ability we're going to talk about is Fool's Choke. Of course, Darth Vader in a game has to have Fool's Choke. It's like his little tradition. He just loves he loves choking people, so it's got to be in the game. It's like an instant kill. It's actually got quite a big range on it as well, so you can literally press one button, press two, activate it. It will like levitate them into the air, and then obviously like choke it to death. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool feeling. So next up is the Saber Throw. You literally throw your Saber into the air, and it never comes back. No, it does come back eventually, but... I find it really hard to nail and just somehow lock onto the target. It doesn't... I find it difficult to use. That's all I'm going to say. Probably the weakest of the attacks, but still very, very cool to see. The Sable does like fly away and come back very quickly. That's awesome. Right, time to talk about Luke Skywalker. Hell yes. That's exciting. Anyway, so let's talk about his, um, his, like, his presence and how he is as a character in the game. So he's a lot quicker than Darth Vader. He runs a lot quicker. He jumps further. He's generally just a better character to use. Uh, this is obviously based off the beta, so stuff will change for the full game. It may even change during the beta. I don't know, but Luke Skywalker is a lot better than Darth Vader in many, many ways. So just in terms of the speed as well. Anyway, his first ability, Force Push. Did, did I say it correctly? Force Push. There we go. So basically, it's just boom. And it just like pushes like a whole volume of air and just pushes everyone over. It's very useful, especially in close combat. You can knock down like four free enemies at once and just kill them outright, which is pretty neat. So next up is the Saber Rush where Luke just jumps like really, really quickly and goes speedy in one direction and just cuts anyone in that path, like literally. Heads just fly off. No, not, not heads, but it's so nice to see. It's just so cool to see when you press the button. And you just do, oh my God. It's quite frantic because you are like, you have a certain amount of health. And you're trying to like obviously not die you're trying to deflect bullets you're trying to attack i'm trying to work out when to attack and when to defend is key to your success saber rush is good though because you can get like say the you, people tend to be scared of, of jedis it just happens you spawn in they're trying to run away from you use some jump packs and stuff the saber rush will get you nice and close to them but also kill them in one shot as well so definitely do that uh yeah but like i said the jedis the heroes are quite rare it's like a one in 40 chance of getting a token so be wary, you may be like running around for a little while before you actually find any sort of hero token. I played for like six hours and got like three tokens. So that's pretty much like a, a premise of like what might happen. One tip though, so when you respawn, look behind you. Cause sometimes I see uh, in Walker Assault, you advance forward. 
So if you look behind you, maybe some missing tokens, might be some hero tokens, some ADSTs, some X wings. I don't know. Just look behind you quickly and then continue on your way. There may be a hero token there, and you may thank me later. Just saying. Also, quick note: pretty much any attack you do as a as a Jedi or a hero kills them instantly in one hit for obvious reasons. I mean, a lightsaber cuts through limbs, cuts heads off, cuts arms off. It's it's a one-hit kill, just so you guys know. I'm not, not sure if I said it already, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give a nice big thumbs up, and look forward to the beta. The beta comes out on the 8th of October for Xbox One, the PS4, and the PC. It's free, it's open. You can show your screenshots, you can film it, you can talk about it. It's all good. Now, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching, and bye bye. Also, subscribe for more Battlefront content coming very, very soon. I went to Sweden and recorded all this gameplay, hence it's uh, well in advance of the beta. And uh, yeah, be excited. Bye-bye.